Hello friends and welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. This is Cassie. Today we're going to be making a background with some fall ink colors. Let's talk about the products first. This is the Fresh Cut Flowers. It is a slimline peel apart background stamp. It's red rubber. Uh, one of the newer releases from Simon Hurley Create and I love this. So when I say peel apart, I mean these pieces can come out. They go back together like a puzzle and then you have your beautiful background, but there are several pieces that can pull apart to be their own separate stamped images or stamps. And um, that is one of the cool things about these peel aparts and I love that Simon has so many. Then we're also going to be using this lovely Lantanas, but it's just for the sentiment that I need it, although it is a gorgeous stamp set. Then we of course have some stark white cardstock, and then I have four ink colors over there that we are going to be using from the Simon Hurley Create ink line. So let me pull out this piece of cardstock. This is an 85 by 11 sheet. I'm going to cut off four inches. I'm cutting off four inches because I need my base, and that base is going to be seven inches by eight and a quarter, or eight and a half inches. Then I'm going to cut this down to three and a half inches, and we're going to use every piece that I cut, even that little strip, we're going to use that for our sentiment. But here we're using um, the three and a half by eight and a half inch piece. This is going to be our background. You'll notice that these slimline peel aparts do not fit in a regular misty. If you have like the scrapbook misty, you could do that. Or you can do what I'm going to do here, which is just flip it upside down. I do want to do some heat embossing, so I'm using a magic powder bag over that just to make sure I don't have any static. Then I'll pull up my juicy embossing ink and I'll stamp my image a couple times just to make sure that I have it nice and juicy. Then I'll take my piece, flip it over, and then I'm just gonna rub, rub, rub with my hands and try and get that to transfer really well, making sure that I don't move the sheet of paper. And then the proof will be in the pudding when we put our embossing powder over the top of it, which you'll be able to see. And everything worked great, so it that's what's great about those red rubber. They just stamp backgrounds beautifully. And everything worked wonderfully. We only have a couple spots where I got embossing powder where I didn't want it. So I'll just use a little paintbrush and get rid of that. And then we'll be ready to heat set that with our heat tool. And then I'll show you just a little bit of it, but you'll be able to tell that it is doing its thing because it'll go from that matte finish to a glossy finish and you really won't be able to see much. So looking at that, you don't see anything, but the magic will come when we start blending. I'm gonna start with this first color. This is Slippery When Wet, and I'm gonna go kind of light-handed at the top. I really wanted four colors, but, and I say this every time, one of the cool things about these inks, because <laughs> there are many, many cool things about these inks, is that they can layer on top of each other. And as you can see, I am intensifying that color the more I blend over the top. And so it almost looks like I have two separate colors there. I've got that really deep, slippery when wet, and then we have it kind of fading off, which is awesome. The next color I am bringing in is Gur, and I'm just blending these on with my Blender Buddies. And I'll just keep intensifying that color as I see fit. But this is a beautiful fall color combination. I love looking at my line of Simon Hurley Create inks and just kind of thinking like what would blend together? How could we get some different blends, you know, different ones for different seasons? And it's, oh, you could go on for days and days and days with the different colors that he has in this line and just get some beautiful blends. I'm going to move on to some Breakup Blue. That is the newest color in his line of inks. And if he just kept coming out with ink colors, I would not break my heart, I'm telling you. So this blends nicely with the Gur, and the Slippery When Wet did too. I didn't want to bring the Breakup Blue right into the Slippery When Wet. That's why we've got our Gur in the middle there. But I think that color also really adds to that fall vibe. And I'm just intensifying that color. And then our final color that I'm going to bring in is Midnight Snack. So I uh, decided to go lightest then to darkest just to make it a little easier with my blending. And you'll see that Midnight Snack just really makes everything pop. And I'm just blending, blending, and you'll notice I get some kind of weird lines there, but it's easily blended out. I'm going to really intensify that color down at the bottom just to try and make sure it's nice and dark and that way we have a good blend into the Midnight Snack into the Breakup Blue. I'll clean off my brush and then go back into our Breakup Blue so that I can blend that even better. And I love how that looks. Oh, it's so pretty. 
And then once I'm done with all of my blending, I want that stark white cardstock to really pop on the background. So I'm going to take my microfiber cloth and buff all the color off of the embossing. So this is some emboss resist. That's what this technique is called. If you're new to it, and then it really makes those colors, you know, pop behind and the white really come through. Now I'll spritz a little bit of water on that background and then let it sit for a second, wipe it away, and you'll see how water reactive those inks still are. It's really cool and even cooler in person. So I love that. I want to do one more thing. I'm going to bring in some of this lunar paste. I know most of these are out of stock right now, but uh, last I checked, this one was in stock. And this one is the Slippery When Wet. I'm just adding a little water to my glass mat, took a tiny paintbrush of that lunar paste, and then I'm going to splatter that all over that background. It'll add a shimmery, sparkly splatter. See, check that out. So you have those water spots and that shimmery splatter. We'll set that off to the side to dry, and then I'm going to work on the inside of my card. So before, this is my 7-inch seven, seven by 8.5-inch card base. I'm going to put those same colors that I used on the outside. I'm just going to stamp those onto my stamp, and I'm not really worried about the blending. That's why I went lightest to darkest. So I went with the Slippery When Wet, then we went to Gur, then we went to Break Up Blue, then we brought in Midnight Snack. Now we're going to kind of soften the edge a little bit. And then I'll line up the bottom of my card with the bottom of the stamp and we'll just stamp that down just rubbing to get an impression and then when I flip that over you'll see that we have those same colors on the inside and then you have just a little something something on the inside so now I need to get my base ready and I should have flipped this over and I'll realize it later but uh, we're gonna score this at three and a half inches so I'll flip it <laughs> upside down or backwards or whatever then I'll make sure and just reinforce that score line and that's the inside of our card we'll take some liquid glue and we'll adhere our card panel to our card base and I use liquid glue because it does give me a little bit of wiggle room and then we need to stamp out our sentiment so again that sentiment comes from lovely lantanas and it says sending love and it fits perfectly on that last scrap of paper that came from our eight and a half by 11 inch piece of um, stark white cardstock and here's a little trick I like to do when I want to adhere something like this to the front of a card. Since it's a just one long, long strip, I am taking my foam tape and putting it right on my base. That is just easier for me to make sure that I can center everything and line up. Then I'm more focused on centering the wording than I am about that sticking down before it should. And then I'll stick this into my guillotine trimmer and trim off the excess. But once I'm done with that, that's going to finish off our card for today, so check it out. Hopefully this will add to your arsenal of different kinds of ink blends. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Big thanks for liking, subscribing, leaving those lovely comments that y'all leave. You guys make a girl feel loved. And so I hope you have a great day, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.